کرنے کی درخواست پہ ایک چھوٹی سی دعا ہے سورہ اسرا میں آپ سب آمین بولیں گے رب رحم ہو ما کما رب رب جس طرح انہوں نے میرے بچپن میں مجھے پالا ہے آپ بھی ان کے ساتھ رحمت کا معاملہ کیجیے آمین سم آمین صدا اللہ عظیم پروفیسر راشد صاحب آپ نے بہت خوبصورت دعا پڑھی جزاک اللہ جزاک اللہ اللہ تعالیٰ ہمارے جن کے والدین حیات ہیں اللہ تعالیٰ ان کو اپنی حفظ و مان میں رکھے آپ سب بھی والدین ہیں آپ اپنے بچوں کے والدین ہیں آپ ان کی صاحب آپ کا سایہ ان کے سر پہ سلامت رکھے اور جن کے والدین اس دنیا میں رخصت ہو گئے ہیں اس دعا کے سد کے اس قرآن کے برکت کے سد کے رمضان کے سد کے اللہ تعالیٰ ان کو جنت نصیب فرمائے پروفیسر سمینہ کا انٹروڈکشن کرنے سے پہلے یہ دس ویبینار از کانٹینیوس ویبینار فرام دا لاسٹ ٹو ایئر سکس ایٹ ویبینار وی اسٹارٹیڈ ان دا کووڈ اینڈ آلموسٹ وی کورڈ وی آر پراؤڈ آف دس وی ہیو کورڈ آلموسٹ سو مینی ٹاپکس آن دا کووڈ اینڈ آلموسٹ ادر انفیکشس ڈیزیزز اینڈ ادر ویری امپارٹنٹ ڈیزیزز کارڈک ڈیزیزز رینل ڈیزیزز لنگ ڈیزیزز ایموشنل انٹیلیجنس اینڈ لیبارٹریز میٹرز اینڈ سو مینی ادر میٹرز فرام دا لاسٹ ٹو ویکس وی آر اسٹڈینگ اباؤٹ دا ڈائبٹیز اینڈ دا اوبیسٹیز اینڈ آلسو ہاؤ ٹو انکریز ہاؤ ٹو بوسٹ دا میموریز دس ویبینار از اے کولیبریشن آف دا ساؤتھ ایشین ایسوسیشن آف فیزیولوجی آزاد جموں کشمیر میڈیکل کالج مظفر آباد وومن میڈیکل کالج وومن میڈیکل اینڈ ڈینٹل کالج ایپٹ آباد پاکستان فیزیولوجیکل سوسائٹی پاکستان ایسوسیشن آف پیتھالوجسٹ پروفیسر سمینہ از پی ایچ ڈی ان فیزیولوجی پروفیسر سمینہ وقت بھی آئی نو آر فرام دا لاسٹ آئی تھنک سیون ٹو ایٹ ایئرس وین آئی واز دیئر اینڈ دیئر آئی واز ڈائریکٹر ریسرچ اینڈ شی واز ایسوسیٹ ڈائریکٹر آف ریسرچ شی از این ایکسیلنٹ لیڈی شی ہیز این انوویٹو آئیڈیا شی از ناٹ اونلی اے فیزیولوجسٹ she is a good poet and she has her own poetry and inshallah whenever i, I got a time i will uh, have a chance to i will request him to uh, present dr samina naim is a uh, has so many research ideas she is also experts of the uh, not only the physiology uh, section also a medical education in the women uh, in the uh, university of lahore professor samina i have uh, very short words to introduce you anyhow it is over to you god bless you and god god leave you give you the long time you have given us the time for this webinar thank you so much over to you professor samina malik jazakallah khair professor mulazim bukhari is just like my elder brother and professor salma kundi is just like my elder sister so i am very grateful to both of them for uh, continuing this uh, series of webinar and i hope that they get a century very soon and i am grateful to all the participants who have uh, joined uh, on a morning of ramzan and after uh, praying whole night maybe because that was the 25th night um, special night of ramzan main aapki awaaz zara kam hai thoda sa madam zara mic aage kar de mic ko aage kar de okay so So can you hear me clearly now? Yes, now it is clear. Now it is clear. Okay. More. <clears throat> okay, great. Great. So uh, uh, first of all, uh, today's webinar is uh, uh, dedicated to my father, uh, Brigadier Dr. Abdul Rahman Malik, who taught me this skill. And I also dedicate it to the 36th birthday of Pakistan Physiological Society, uh, which has also, uh, we are using the platform of Pakistan Physiological Society as well. So uh, I'm grateful uh, to that platform for collaborating uh, for this webinar. So now we'll be talking hands-on about the mental filing system. And before I uh, deliver anything, I would like you guys to test me, to test me with a list of uh, 20 uh, items or 20 things uh, that uh, you want me to narrate back just by a little bit of introduction, like number one is a cell and cell is number one. Number two is a book and book is number two. But I don't want anything more than that. If you have any candidate from one candidate, say to your mic on, that he has to create a list create of 20 items. So, and then, because he has a list, so that person can be anyone. 
और मैं हर एक को ये मौका दे रही हूँ कि वो कोई भी हो क्योंकि फिर ये ना हो कि मैंने कोई किसी के साथ लिंकेज किया हुआ कोई मुखमका किया हुआ कि मुझे वो लिस्ट पहले से मौजूद हो तो पहले तो आप टेस्ट कर डॉक्टर राशिद साहब डॉक्टर राशिद साहब कि एम आई एलिजिबल टू टीच दिस सिस्टम और नॉट पहले तो मुझे टेस्ट कर लें ठीक है मैं चैलेंज करती हूँ कि आप मुझे पहले टेस्ट कर लें तो काइंडली आप में से कोई भी एक जैसे सर ने मुंतब किया आज का सेशन जो है ये इंटरक्टिव सेक्शन और यानी वेबिनार का ज्यादा है साहब आप अपने वो मैडम का आपको हम वो करते हैं जी राशिद साहब जी राशिद साहब बीस वो करें मैडम का क्वेश्चन को अच्छा मैं हाल उनका माइक ठीक काम नहीं कर रहा तो आप किसी और को चुन लें ऐसा है कि मैं डॉक्टर हुमा शरीफ को कहता हूँ प्रोफेसर हुमा शरीफ ठीक प्रोफेसर हुमा मैडम हुमा जी मैडम हुमा जी आप प्रोफेसर हुमा आप मुझे प्लीज एक चैलेंज देंगी और आप एक कागज पे लिखती जाएं एक से लेके ट्वेंटी तक की लिस्ट वन पे आप कोई भी चीज रख दें टू पे कोई भी चीज रख दें और फिर मुझे आप पढ़ के सुना देंगी कि नंबर वन इज दिस एंड दिस इज नंबर वन इस रफ्तार से तो फिर मैं उसको याद कर लूंगी फटाफट और फिर मैं आपका टेस्ट दूंगी कि आप मेरे से कोई चीज पूछेंगी आई विल बी टेलिंग यू द नंबर एंड वेन यू गिव मी अंबर आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दिंग दैट इज ऑन योर लिस्ट सो वंस यू आर सेटिस्फाइड दैट आई एम एबल टू डिलीवर देन आई विल वो अपने पास रखेगा सारा कुछ और Yes, you Haan, can write right, one to twenty. Okay, please, आप don't write it in the chat box, वरना मैं देख लूँगी, ठीक है? No, 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 no. I write on a paper. हाँ. नहीं, आपने कागज पे, मैडम आपने कागज पे लिखे हैं. कागज पे लिखे हैं और chat box पे ना लिखे हैं. बिल्कुल chat box पे नहीं लिखना आपने. बिल्कुल सही समझी आप. इसको आपने paper को out नहीं करना. Paper को out नहीं करना. Then we have one to twenty in the serial number. Now what to do? Can you explain one again? Because number of people okay. are talking, and I am not listening clear. All right. Clear. All right. All right, Professor Huma. Once you write down a list of twenty items from one oh, to twenty, oh, yeah, then you will narrate that list to me in this way. Number one is dash dash. Me, you will write the name of the item, and dash is number one. Number two is dash, and dash is number two. But this will be your speed. Okay. You got it. So uh, yeah, I got it. I enlist the things or like that one. Anything, anything. Madam, or do I write in English? I write in whatever I want. No problem. I have written on that, but I am enlisting the one to twenty dash and dash. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> dash means your item, your thing. That should be one word. Yeah. One word can be a name. Humar or Bab, Doctor Humar or Bab, Doctor Sada Sayyada Humar or Bab. You have to do what? Do you have to do Doctor Humar or Bab? डॉक्टर हुमा रुबाब यू आर द सेम एज प्रोफेसर हुमा नहीं नहीं और हैं दे दो और हैं ओके राइट इफ यू वांट टू से समथिंग प्लीज अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ एंड स्पीक अप जी डॉक्टर डॉक्टर सैयदा हुमा रुबाब प्लीज अनम्यूट मैं कह रहा हूँ आपको अनम्यूट कर दिया है हुमा जब तक लिखती हैं कैन वी गो हेड विद द वेबिनार या मैडम उसी के साथ ही तो आगे बढ़ेंगे चलें जी ये अच्छी मेमोरी बड़ी जबरदस्त चीज है अल्लाह की नेमत है जी अच्छा मैं थोड़ा सा आप लोगों को इसके बारे में बैकग्राउंड बताना चाहती हूँ कि ह्यूमन ब्रेन जो है इट हैज कैपेसिटी Uh, to store information and uh, yeah. it has an x number of neurons to hold that information so this information that you place in your brain can be improved can be strengthened can be weakened can be deleted even and new information can also be added but if you will stop working with your brain 
actively, then it is likely that uh, we will go into early dementia due to aging and also due to multitasking. So even uh, you, you can see these days that your young children at home, they are also having complaints about uh, losing uh, some information from their mind. And this usually happens when uh, you do not uh, focus into the details. Uh, you do not uh, use your power of imagination and uh, uh, you waste your time into negative activities uh, rather than keeping the information that is more useful for you. Uh, if you keep the information and select the information that is more useful for you, then you are able to keep it in mind harder and longer. Like when you listen to the lecture of a professor, uh, the students, uh, they uh, whether they are undergraduate students or postgraduate students or lifelong learners, like all of you, uh, they tend to keep the information that is useful for them in their positive memory. Whereas the information that they find redundant, unuseful, they delete it from their mind and it is not li likely to stay in their mind for a longer duration of time that we call as the negative memory or habituation. So we have talked about, we have heard about, and we have read about it in even Guyton physiology in the chapter on memory. So this memory can be reinforced and memory can be deleted. So last time, uh, Professor Munir was the speaker and he uh, touched that topic in detail. But uh, I will be only focusing uh, among many, many forms or many, many techniques of uh, strengthening your memory. I will be just focusing on a single technique, uh, which, will, which may help you. I will not claim that it will always, but if you will acquire it firmly and understand it properly and practice it properly, then uh, you will definitely, I'm sure that inshallah ta'ala, you will be able to uh, uh, keep your brain into practice and uh, it will help you in retaining new information. So I hope so. So in the meantime, let's Dr. ask Mumbai, Professor have you Dr. Humas. Yes. I have completed with a single word, 1 to 20. Ji, yeah. ab, ab perfect, hengi. perfect. Now it's time for you to narrate the list to me. What is one, on your number one, madam? One dash. Dash? What What I told you the name of that one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, what is book? Book. Okay, your number one is book. Yes. Okay. okay, so book is at your number one, right? Yeah. All right, all right. And? Number two. Number two? Classes. Number two is glasses or glasses? Glasses. Glasses, that are vision glasses or sunglasses, right? Yeah. Glass, okay, Deshma. okay, right, right. So glasses is number pencil. two. Third so, is pencil. So you have to re recite like this. Number three is pencil and yes. pencil is number three. Please follow this. Yeah. Yes. Okay, number three is pencil. All right. Yes. Pencil, then, pencil. Okay. Okay, then what about number four, madam? Number four, copy. 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 Number four is copy and copy okay. is number four. Please follow okay. this fashion. Okay. 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 Then? Number five is internet. Internet is number five. Internet is number five. Okay. Bilkul theek hai. Aise hi hona oh, right. Number six is computer number six ah, is computer, computer. Okay. computer is number six Bilkul hai. then number seven is paper number seven is paper paper, paper. is number seven and paper is number seven right number eight is keyboard number eight is keyboard keyboard is number keyboard. eight keyboard keyboard all right keyboard is number eight number nine is mouse number nine nine is mouse Okay. Mouse, mouse is number nine. All right. And? Number 10 is mobile. Number 10 is mobile. And? Number, uh, mobile is number 10. Mobile is number 10. Then? Number 11 is girl. Number 11 is girl. Okay. Girl is number 11. Number 11 is? 11 girl. 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 Okay. All right. Number 12 is boy. 
Number twelve is boy. Twelve boy. Boy, well, boy. Okay. boy is number twelve. Right, right. Number thirteen is culture. Number thirteen is culture. Okay. Culture, culture is number thirteen. Very right. Number fourteen is lecture. Number fourteen lecture. is lecture. बिल्कुल ठीक. Lecture right. is number fourteen. Right. Number fifteen is pen. Number fifteen is pen. Pen is number fifteen. Pen is number fifteen. Then sixteen is pointer. Number sixteen is pointer. Okay. Pointer is pointer. number sixteen. Right. And number seventeen. Number seventeen is bag. Bag. Okay. Bag is number seventeen. Bag. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Number eighteen is charger. 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 Is right. Right. Number nineteen is poster. Number nineteen is poster. Okay. Nine poster is number nineteen. All right, and then twenty is journal. Twenty is journal. Okay. Journal is right. Journal. Professor, professor, Huma, thoda sa apna taro bhi kara de. Professor, Huma, apna thoda sa taro bhi kara de. I am a research director at Jinnah Sin Medical University. Basically, I am not a MBBS doctor. I am a PhD doctor. and my basic field is the pharmacy you are actual doctor <laughs> <laughs> recently i came back from london to complete my post doc uh, on the hsc scholarship in the pharmaceutical sciences and, uh, um, um, and now currently i am work as i as i am a professor in the institute of pharmaceutical sciences in the jinnah sin medical university but currently i hold a research directorship And uh, editor of uh, annals of Jinnasin Medical University and all these all research matters I have been taken over there. Great. So, madam, please go ahead and ask me a question. Ask me a number or ask me a thing. Okay. Uh, randomly. Randomly, please. Randomly. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's great. Number eleven. Work shop. Number eleven. Number eleven is girl, madam. Please confirm. Okay. Ah, mashallah. Very, very nice. And uh, number nineteen, madam. Number nineteen is uh, uh, poster. Good poster. Excellent. Number two, madam. Number two is glasses. Great, mashallah. And number eight is, madam. Number eight is the uh, keyboard. Keyboard. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, then culture. Culture is number thirteen. Thirteen. Good. Samina, so, I'm also doing good. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you're, you're good. You're good, good man. Number. <laughs> number? Yeah. number seventeen. Number seventeen is a bag. Oh, good. And uh, mobile. Mobile is on uh, number ten. Uh, mouse. Mouse nine. Internet. Internet was five. Oh, book, and uh, book was on number one. Number one. Number three. Number three was pencil. Oh. Number four. Number four was the copy. Copy. <laughs> and pen. And computer. And pen. And uh, there was also a pen. And pen was with fourteen. Good. No, no, no. Pen was fifteen. Sorry, no, no, no. Fifteen. Pen was fifteen. Yeah. Yes. 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 And lecture. Lecture was actually fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, lecture. Sixteen uh, is. And number sixteen was a pointer. Oh, good. And what about the eighteen? And eighteen was a um, charger. Yes. And twenty uh, is. Twenty was journal. Journal, I think, and twelve. And uh, number twelve was uh, actually uh, boy. the boy. <laughs> and <laughs> computer on. And uh, uh, there was a computer, madam. आपने नहीं बोलना ये मेरा test हो रहा है. ठीक है. So computer was number six. Okay. And paper. And there was a paper on seven. Okay, I think I ask all one to twenty. I okay, write great, great, yeah. great. Yes, and I am surprised. Really, that's great. That's great, Doctor Samina, Professor Samina. You have and and you know, done this no, thing. Sure, and, and actually, no, no, let's actually, continue. Actually, no, continue. Yeah, actually, yeah, actually, 
जी अब इस पे आते हैं कि एनी बॉडी कैन डू सो राइट सो अब हम आपके इसको टेक्निक को डिस्क्लोज करने लगे सीक्रेट को ठीक है एक मिनट समीना ये आपको दो घंटे बाद याद होगा जी जी आप मुझसे पूछिएगा ठीक है ओके थैंक यू सो मच और राइट सो नाउ लुक एट दिस Uh, for teaching and learning, I'm going to demonstrate uh, magical memory, uh, and you know the background of physiology of memory. We have positive memory and negative memory, and we have uh, areas for memory, and we have association areas in the brain. And when we learn something new, we basically construct on something that is already present on our on our mind. Like uh, if if uh, Dr. Salma will tell me that my name is and I'm meeting her for the first time and I, she tells me that my name is uh, Professor Salma, then I will immediately uh, relate her name and her personality with another Salma that was already in my mind. I have met another Salma who was my class fellow, and I will start comparing between this Salma and that Salma. so this is how you learn new things on the basis of previous information and this we call in medical education as a theory of learning called as constructivist theory of learning in which we construct the building over the blocks that are already present before so it means that i had something in my mind before and also remember that your mind uh, it is it tends to remember uh, there is some background noise can it be checked the co-host please mute the person from where this noise is coming dr huma sorry i'm muting you who's coming from your side all right जी, so yes. ji dr mina dr samina ek sawal aaya hai sir ye kehte hain main kaise maloom hua ki ye pehle aapko ye pehle bata diya gaya tha nahi nahi main aapko ye nahi bata rahi main aapko ye bata rahi hu ki aapne some sawal aaya hai ki jo aapko yaad raha wo sawal ye hai ki yaad raha कि क्या ये डॉक्टर हमार शरीफ वाली लिस्ट जो है वो आपको पास पहले तो मौजूद नहीं थी ऑफ कोर्स क्योंकि आप आपने चुना ना डॉक्टर हुमा को आपने सिलेक्ट किया नॉट मी सो दैट इज व्हाई वी आस्क यू कि रैंडम रैंडमली सिलेक्ट एनीबॉडी इट इज अनबायस्ड इट इज अनबायस्ड इट इज जस्ट फ्रेशली रिटर्न राइट एंड वी गिव चांस टू ऑल ऑफ ऑल ऑफ आवर 42 पार्टिसिपेंट्स टू राइट right and uh, we selected dr huma and very kindful to dr huma who professor she is professor and she gave the time actually this is not biased it is not already written right right yes, yeah we will, present, we, will uh, we will i will i, I will uh, send this lecture on my youtube inshallah so sure, thank you thank you so uh, i cannot cheat on my father at least <laughs> because he taught me this skill all right so uh, and in a while by the end of the session all of you will be able to do this so it is nothing inshallah yeah it is nothing special so all of you can learn it all right so uh, now look at this person who is uh, a fat guy and he just slipped slipped over a peel of uh, banana so you are going to record this uh, uh, information in your mind uh, for a longer duration of time as compared to if this guy place this banana peel into the dustbin because this is a normal uh, uh, observation that people usually do that they throw the peel of uh, a banana into the dustbin but your brain tends to record events that have some uh, sense of humor with it because when we say humor we are talking about emotion when we say emotion we are talking about limbic system when we say limbic system we are talking about learning so uh, everybody will be able to understand that how i relate emotions with learning and uh, association with learning and uh, association of uh, something humorous some uh, you have to uh, think like uh, uh, a person with the sense of humor and uh, you you have to quickly uh, quickly associate things with the new things with the old things that are already stored in your mind this is the key so moving forward uh i am going to reveal the mental hooks that are already stored in your mind and obviously you can see that it has a lot of advantages that uh, you can uh, enhance and convert your short term memory into a long term memory you don't have to carry the shopping list in your hand uh, and uh, when when we depend on uh, devices then we start losing our mind so if you depend on your brain then due to fan effect which is an effect in physiology 
more ATP will be provided to the part of the body that you are going to use. And you also know that the blood supply will also improve to the part of the body that is active. Like uh, you get more blood supply to the skeletal muscle when you are running. Likewise, you get more blood supply to the areas of the brain when you are retrieving the information and storing the information and thinking, uh, uh, you, are involved, you are involving yourself into thinking process. So uh, my father practiced it uh, when he conducted his first lecture in the army as a doctor. And uh, he, 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 he was having 100 students in the class. He was able to increase these hooks to uh, 100, a number of 100. And uh, uh, when he conducted the attendance, it was all oral without any paper in his hand. And he started taking the attendance like this, role number one, uh, Professor Mulazim, role number two, Professor Salma. So he narrated like this. And at the end, when he took all the hundred names without looking at a paper, the entire class stood up and started clapping. And they all immediately were able to, he was able to hook the entire class into his hand for the rest of the sessions. So you can even mesmerize the audience. And you can definitely postpone uh, uh, the dementia by actively uh, involving your mind into such activities, if I can call it mind games. So this is a good book in, on memory with this author that is shown on the screen that uh, whenever you get time, you can uh, go ahead and read it. So there are certain hooks, as my husband always says, a place for everything and everything is in its place. Right now I have locked the room and he's not allowed to enter so that the webinar is not disturbed. So <laughs> you have locked in the room. <laughs> no, no, he's outside the room. I have locked my room because I did not want any disturbance. So, <laughs> but this is what he taught me. That is a place for everything, and everything is in its place. So yeah. you can, you, if you visit his wardrobe anytime, you will see that it is always and always so tidy and so clean that it is a big challenge for me to maintain my wardrobe that clean parallel to him. So you see that if you have to place anything and uh, you want, uh, the, like Dr. Salma, she said that if I ask you after a week or month or so, or after two hours, will you be able to tell me? Yes, I will be able to tell you because I have already, I'm having these hooks in my mind. So I'm hanging my clothes or the information with the help of these hooks. Now I'm going to reveal my mental hooks that were the original mental hooks and these, this mental filing system in which we open up a file in our mind, we don't need a paper, a pen or anything. Uh, I'm going to reveal the, these universal hooks and these mental hooks and mental filing system. It has been transcribed into uh, more than 20 languages and it is disseminated um, uh, at different places um, in this world. And uh, people uh, from different cultures, they are able to understand it and they practice it. Now, my father learned it at Gordon College from some foreign professor, and then he disseminated it to as many places as he could. And yesterday I received a message from a, a colleague who was with me two decades earlier, and he's still at Annals, of, uh, uh, Annals Group, uh, WhatsApp group, and uh, his name is Dr. Umar Farooq. And he said, I remember you talking about mental hooks in the corridors of Fatma Memorial Hospital in 2004. So, so I've been teaching, yes, I've been teaching mental hooks since at least 2004 uh, in Lahore. And uh, most of my students know about it because whenever I get a free time, I do discuss with them so that I should not die uh, keeping the, these hooks with me and they must be disseminated as a Satka Jariya or a, a charity in progress of my father. So look at this uh, hook number one. At number one, I have clock in my mind. You know that it is very difficult to remember the dates of the history that uh, what happened on which date, but, and that is why we always struggled in history with the dates and the numbers. But it is easier to remember the geography because in geography, we relate things with things. We do not relate things with numbers. So uh, now look at the hooks. Look, what are hooks? Hooks are things attached with a number. So if anybody tell me no, number one is book, it is uh, then what I'm going to do is that when anybody says number one, 
in my mind comes the clock because clock is my number one. Why the clock is my number one? Because there is one country, Pakistan, in which there is one city, Faisalabad, on which there is one clock tower. And if the cells are uh, not in order or they are drained, then it will always, suppose, strike one. And uh, hickory dickory clock, dock, you have all heard about that poem or in Urdu, ghadi ne ek bajaya, chuha niche aya. So uh, I have associated firmly since my early childhood uh, the clock with number one. So when what somebody says the book is number one, like Dr. Huma said, then I did not relate book with number one. Instead, I related book with clock because clock was my number one and it is easier to associate things with things rather than things with number. So when she said that uh, what is at number one, uh, my mind said clock. With the help of clock, I was able to reach the book. Why? Because I firmly associated immediately in split seconds. I imagined uh, using the power of imagination. I so imagined. Matlab, Professor Samina, is ka matlab, Professor Samina, you have a list in your brain. And what we are saying, you relate to it so that your memory is better. Extremely. Oh, extremely good, sir. Extremely right. Oh, oh, oh. So, so this is the key, basically this is the key and you can make your own mental hooks that uh, fix well in your own mind. You can make your own mental hooks. So now I associated book with clock, how? I thought that uh, uh, in Faisalabad city, if I place a curriculum book on the uh, mount, uh, this uh, tower, clock tower, then after every one hour, the page will turn and uh, a new uh, uh, chapter will open up and then the students of Faisalabad, they will start looking at the tower and they will get free education over there. After another one hour, again, the next page of the book will turn. And uh, when the clock will keep striking uh, one hour time at every one hour, the lecture will keep changing and the students will be getting free education. So I just imagined this in those split seconds the time that Dr. Huma gave me that number one is book and book is number one. In this time, I have to imagine. I have to associate that item with the clock that is my number one, okay? So then number two in this universal list is trousers. You know, every person needs to have at least how many trousers? At least how many trousers? Two. Uh, uh, two. Sir, aap jaise log nahi, aam log. <laughs> so at least, <laughs> I'm, I'm not talking about the principal level, but at least every person, every man should have at least minimum of two trousers. So if one is sent to the, uh, uh, this uh, uh, for laundering, then you still have another trouser to wear. So two trousers are the basic human need for any man. And uh, every trouser should have at least two pockets because you don't have four hands, you have two hands. So even four is a waste. So ah. at least, yeah, so at least you need to have two, two pockets because you have two hands and then you can put those hands into pocket, especially in a cold weather, like in Aftabad, in Balochistan and in, uh, you know, your, the places where you are living, Quetta and Eptabad and uh, Kashmir. Now, now this is hook number three. In, uh, so when I was told that number two is uh, glasses, so immediately my mind disagreed. My mind said, no, number two is trousers. So then I had to associate quickly the glasses with the trousers. So I oh. thought that there is a person who is having a, uh, a trouser and the trouser, he is having two pockets of that trouser that he is wearing for the meantime. And he is having, using two types of glasses. He is using one pair of glasses for, uh, 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 to, uh, as uh, sunglasses and he is wearing the other set of glasses as vision glasses. So uh, what he does is that he places uh, power glasses in one pocket and he places vision glasses in the other pocket. So whenever he finds that it is sunny, he takes out one glasses, power glass, uh, vision glasses, uh, this uh, 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 dark glasses. And when he feels that he has to read something, then he takes out the vision glasses from the other pocket. So this was a quick imagination. And he has to be very careful that those glasses should not break uh, within his pockets 
So he has to be very careful that either the glasses can be in the pocket or his hands can be in the pocket. So this was a quick imagination with number two hook. Then in my list, number three is a chair. Look at this chair. This is a special type of chair in which there are only three legs. So you can see that if the teacher sits on this chair and uh, reclines on the side that uh, has a shorter leg, just like it is the polio of a chair, then the teacher tends to uh, fall down. And obviously it will be a matter of, of, of uh, something, uh, a sense of, uh, you know, uh, some a humorous type of scene for the students that uh, they will definitely uh, not be able to control their laughter. So, so you can see that uh, this chair is special and we have associated already number three with this chair. Now, when I was told that number three is pencil by Professor Homa, then I had to associate this chair with pencil. And how I associated this chair with pencil, I would like anybody from the participants to use your power of imagination and tell me how could it be possible to link a chair with a pencil and it should be something coming from a sense of humor. Anybody? You yes, could Professor use, uh, yes, Professor yeah. Bilkis. Yes, Professor Bilkis. Both are made of wood. Okay, if, if, okay. if okay, okay, let's, uh, let's talk one by one. If it, if we, if it is only this much of association that both are made of wood, then table is also made of wood. And table is coming up as my book number four. So I could have messed up because this is something very serious and I need to use my sense of humor with it so that it can touch my emotions and touch my limbic system and touch my memory. So let's ask <laughs> Professor Bilkis that what, it, what was in her mind. First of all, uh, Dr. Samir 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 Dr. So that will give me a problem if I will relate it with a serious something. So I have to, I have to think uh, with sense of humor so that it touches my limbic system and touches my memory and learning. So now I'm going to ask Professor Bilkis who un, uh, unmuted herself to try to respond to this question. What was your mind? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalam alaikum. Assalam alaikum. Assalam. Your talk is actually extremely absorbing. थैंक यू सो मच जी बस ये जो चेयर है ना ये टिपिकल वो चेयर है जो हम स्कूल में यूज करते थे <laughs> और जब ये चेयर इस चेयर पे हम बैठते थे तो हमारे हाथ में पेंसिल होती ही होती थी और right. एक एक को मेरे सामने ऐसी हो चेयर और कोई गिरने वाला हो तो व्हाट आई वुड डू इज टू ट्राई टू प्लेस द पेंसिल बिलो द यू नो लेग ऑफ द चेयर एंड यू नो प्रोफेसर बिल्कीस दिस वाज एग्जैक्टली माय इमेजिनेशन एग्जैक्टली ओ आई एम अमेज्ड आई एम अमेज्ड Okay, great. Okay. Then, Madam, can I correlate this with my history? Mashuk because Dasti, Dr. Mashuk Dasti, Dr. Mashuk Dasti. Yes, yes, please. Dr. Mashuk Dasti. Yes, sir. S sir, sir, Dr. Sarwar, I am speaking. Sir, yes. Can, yes, can Dr. I correlate? Can, can I correlate this chair with my history of my vision? that there was a event when uh, Zulfakar Ali Bhutto said the first night that if I am uh, weak, my chair, my chair, this chair is very strong. Next day, the martial law came and one uh, general put only this, like this uh, chair um, picture on the title that the chair is now weak. So <laughs> it brought me in the back. This is a, no doubt it is a political. G. Dr. Dasti. Achha, ek minute. I would love, again like to talk to... Uh uh, professor server excuse me professor server can you come back then we will yes, have professor yes yes madam yes please yes <laughs> professor server how did you relate the pencil with this chair no this, was... this chair correlates me with the history of my mind when this was typical picture on the title of the journal yeah that's fine but then, then you have pencil to relate it with the pencil three. 
Yeah, you have to relate it. Can with I, the, can I add can something, Dr. Samina? Yes, please, one by one, please. Why not? Can I add something? We had an Islamic teacher who used to be very funny. One by one, Dr. One by one. Dasti Sahib. Yes. Shahbaz Kalender Se. My, my correlation, correlation of the pencil and this uh, one leg broken chair is that uh, this leg, uh, fourth leg is uh, so weak. If I, I force on this side, I will fall. Same as the nip of the pencil is also weak. If I force, I can break the nip of the pencil. Excellent. So excellent. This is how you related pencil with the chair, right? Very, yeah. very nice. Dr. Dasti, your voice is breaking. Okay, sir, I'm able to hear Dr. Dasti clearly. He said that the nip of the pencil, deep, is, deep if it is stretched upon, professor it will be, it will break down just like a person will fall also with this one leg. So weak leg with the uh, nip that is also very uh, delicate. So he associated two delicacies with each other, two delicate things with each other. Thank you, sir. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum, Professor Zameer, sir. Uh, yeah, uh, th thank you very much. Uh, 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 thank you very much, Dr. Samina. It's my humble request to everyone, especially uh, speaker and uh, co-host, if you, uh, if we will first listen all the lecture like previous, then we can get the things. Agar hamne yun darmiyan mein sawalo jawab shuru kar diya, the mujh jaise log, those are not uh, from uh, this medical science. To hamare liye ye problem hoga. Previously, Dr. Mubin ka jo lecture tha, agar us pattern pe ham chalte to Mubin Sayyid ka to uh, it will be better. And uh, it's my humble request to uh, Dr. Mulazim and uh, the speaker, honorable speaker. Thank you very much. Okay, Professor Zameer, actually this is a workshop and a mini lecture, not just a lecture. So I would like a, a participation, but this participation can be controlled, you are very right, uh, by asking only one person for each of not more, not yeah, more it than can one be, it, can be, it can be one question, but yeah. it should not be in a queue that um, uh, every participant uh, ask the question and uh, we people, really, we people disturb. We are very focusing on the lecture. Very nice, and this sir. lecture, this lecture is, I'm 72 years. This lecture okay. is a very benefit for the human. So we are uh, much focusing on this lecture, not the questions. All right. Thank you so, very much. Thank you, sir. So, we are actually trying to impart this skill into the participants side by side uh, with the help of these hooks. So, uh, this is not basically lecture based, but this is a, a workshop in which uh, by the end of the workshop, I will be testing people on this and you will be able to deliver like me. So this is the aim and objective of this workshop that the teaching is and learning is done side by side. That is why we are calling it a hands-on workshop, sir. And you are very right that uh, the moderator is requested to please control the participants uh, uh, manually by only allowing not more than one person to, uh, to uh, respond for every hook. There are 20 hooks, not more than one person should respond to each hook, okay? And... Uh, and and, and done, if I madam. and done, I will madam. yes sir thank you so much sir thank you so so that uh, it continues so we already received one good answer from Professor Bilkis about association with this chair now in uh, when when uh, uh, I was told that uh, number four is a copy in my list number four was a table and uh, why I have already I'm having number four as a table because uh, this is a uh, square table conference. In the history, you have heard about round table conferences. So please, please control, please control this disturbance in the background. Somebody is breaking the stones. Okay. Oh, Professor Zamir's cock is speaking. Now it's uh, now it's. So please, uh, uh, Pakistan Medical Association hosts, co-hosts, please control the background sounds all the time, all the time. Thank you very much.
Okay. Uh, okay. I will. I will control the sign. Thank you. Thank you. So, so now you can see that uh, number four hook number four is stable in my list, and uh, uh, but in in Doctor uh, uh, Madam uh, Huma's list, it was a copy. So when she told me that, remember that number four is a copy, my mind again disagreed and said, no, number four is a table because it is firmly already present in my brain. Why? Because I associate number four with four people sitting around this square table and conducting a square table conference. So this is a new term that I've, I'm introducing because previously in the history, you all have heard about round table conferences. Am I right? So this time it is a new type of conference going on among four people and we are calling it a square table conference because this is a table that has four legs, four corners, four sides, and four people can uh, attend this conference, but nobody has a copy to write down the minutes of the meeting. So that is why on the top of the table, we are pasting a huge notebook, a copy so that everybody can copy down their minutes of the meeting on this uh, copy, which is present at the top of the table. Because usually when you are invited for a meeting, sometimes we are rushing so much that we tend to forget a notebook to bring to the table of the meeting room. And if the tables are so made that the copies are already attached on the table surface, then this will uh, this will be a useful exercise that we will be immediately able to record the minutes because later on we forget that later on the pages they disappear so this is the permanent uh, system for a square table conference and this is where a sense of humor is coming up quickly in split seconds to understand the new information has, is being attached with the old information to keep it firmly in my mind and to uh, to be able to be recovered immediately from the mind whenever the question is asked. Uh, so far, so good. I hope it is understood. Now, coming to number five. Now, on my uh, mental hoax, uh, number five is a newspaper because five o'clock in the morning, the person who comes to your house and throws something, a parcel to you, that is what, that is a newspaper. And this newspaper has five columns. And let's, let's imagine that uh, these five columns have five paragraphs. And again, let's imagine that each paragraph has five lines and continue to imagine that each line has five words and then each word has five letters, which is very difficult to imagine. But it has uh, a, 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 this advertisement of a famous cigarette that was an, uh, a very old brand of triple five. So triple five used to be a very old brand of cigarettes. And uh, uh, this uh, picture of this advertisement is also placed there. So formally attaching a newspaper with number five as a universal hook. But I was told by uh, Professor Huma that number five is internet. So all the more possible to relate it that now people seldom read a newspaper because all the news they appear on the internet. So now we can say that uh, this newspaper has become a digital newspaper. And when it comes to your house, it should not be thrown from over the gate or over the hedge or over the wall because it will break down. Because now it is a digital newspaper. It is sensitive to fall, uh, uh, to fall and it can break down. So he hands over to the person who receives it. And then the person starts pressing the buttons and retrieving the information of current affairs by holding this newspaper five o'clock in the morning. Is this simple? Going good? Is it simple? Is it simple? Because now the newspaper is online and on the internet. Great. So now number six, in my list, number six was a car yeah. because we were four sisters and we had a father and a mother. So whenever we used to sit in the car, we always had uh, six uh, glasses uh, to observe what is present, what is the scene outside. Like uh, uh, my, we were four sisters. So one sister uh, will be sitting on one side of the car on the hind seat, other sister on the other extreme window, and the two sisters, middle sisters in the center, sandwiched in the center. So the sister on the left will be observing from the left uh, window, a right one from the right window, 
and uh, uh, and uh, these two in the center uh, from the front screen, uh, one from the front screen and the other from the hind screen, or and then the two parents from uh, each side of their window. So uh, totally, this car has six windows and it serves the purpose for all six members of the family to easily observe the scene outside and they have divided their windows so that there should be no war uh, on seeing things around and they can conduct long journeys together peacefully. So this is how we traveled uh, in one car, we six people. Now in my list, uh, uh, this uh, car is uh, on uh, number six, but in Dr. Huma's list, uh, computer uh, was on number six. So then I had to quickly associate computer with car rather than associating computer with number six, which would have been difficult. So then what I used was that I uh, thought that nowadays um, uh, boys are not very keen and girl, young girls are not very keen at learning driving. Uh, we used to learn driving when we were very young and uh, it was a skill and we were outgoing people. We used to play on the ground and outside, but now they learn driving early on the computer with the help of joysticks. So they, they are involved into this uh, car ga racing games and they, they start playing in the uh, over the computer screens. And they have forgotten that they have to go out and they have to leave the screen and they have to learn some hard skill uh, by stepping out of the easy comfort of the home zone and then they can learn new skills. So this is how I associated uh, car with computer when she told me. Now, this is number seven. And on my number seven, this is a traffic policeman. Right at seven o'clock in the morning, when we were out to reach our school, we used to say, see that uh, a person making a figure of seven standing on the road at seven o'clock in the morning. And uh, he was controlling the traffic and he was the traffic policeman, I salute him. So when somebody, does not follow the rules, he always gives a paper to that person. And I'm grateful to Dr. Huma to place paper on number seven so that I could easily associate that it was a chalan form. And that was uh, because the person did not follow uh, the traffic lights or the signals. So that was an easy one for me. But thank you, Dr. Huma. So then number eight is revolving gate. Why number eight is revolving gate? On my list, it's because uh, this figure number eight, if you turn figure number eight upside down, it still becomes eight. It still remains eight. Likewise, uh, you might have watched the videos of Mr. Bean. When Mr. Bean, uh, he tries to enter through one part of this revolving gate uh, and he is trying to enter into a hall and he continues to re uh, rota rotate in this revolving gate. And he, at the end of this journey, he again finds himself on the road rather than on the inside of the hall. So this was an observation by observing Mr. Bean uh, crossing the revolving gate. And by we can relate it with the number eight that it goes to stand on its same point when even if it is rotated upside down. So number eight with revolving gate. But uh, uh, I was uh, told that uh, Dr. Huma said that it is the keyboard uh, that has to fall on number eight. So I had to quickly think and associate this keyboard with number eight. So I thought that just like uh, the buildings um, on the, in, in the West, uh, when you have to enter into a building, you have, to, you have to press some digital code and then the door opens up. So likewise, they have placed a digital code on the revolving gate because people, uh, they, they just for fun, the kids are always rot rotating this gate and always revolving this gate. And this gate is liable to break down due to this mischief. So they have placed a code that is a, 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 placed a bit higher that the kids, their hand, they, it does not reach there. And only adult person, it can uh, press and uh, apply the code on with the help of this keyboard that is att attached higher up so that then this uh, door will open up and people will not misuse this gate. So this is how I connected uh, uh, this uh, uh, keyboard with number eight. 
Then we have number nine. And at uh, number nine, we have this post box. Uh, but Dr. Huma said that it has to be a mouse at number nine. So when number nine, uh, I heard it, when, when I heard the number nine, immediately this uh, post box came into my mind. Uh, why? Because uh, if you remember that uh, nine o'clock in the morning, there used to be a mail time. Dark ka vakt tha, nao baje ka. Subha ke nao baje dark nikal nahi hai, thik hai? So just imagine that uh, uh, you are, uh, and, and also I want to show you that number 10 is the uh, post office window in my list. So isn't it uh, amazing that uh, and humorous that uh, the post office window, this is the post office window uh, from where you collect the uh, tickets for the post, for the parcel, and this is the post box, and you have to put the parcel or the this uh, uh, letter into this post box, into the letter hole, and you have to apply the tickets. Otherwise, when you will send it uh, uh, any envelope to your friend uh, without an ETH card, uh, without a ticket, then she will be uh, she will be the person who will have to pay for this ticket, and she will not find it very healthy that you are sending a, 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 an ETH card to uh, your friend and the friend is receiving it like this. And instead of you putting up the tickets, she has to pay for those tickets. So this also used to happen in the past when the friends used to send us uh, uh, certain cards on uh, and wish us on birthdays and on ease. So remember that uh, this window, it opens at 10 o'clock in the morning, but the mail has to leave at nine o'clock in the morning. So this is uh, the irony of the situation. And due, uh, due to associating with it with this sense of humor uh, or tension, you can, or emotions, uh, you can easily connect with number nine as post box and number 10 as post office window. Again, think about post office window in which usually there is a, a line or queue of 10 people and you are often at number 10. And if you try to attempt to go to number one, then you will be thrown back again to number 10 and people will say, it's a queue, it's a queue, go back. So, so that is why I'm associating number nine with post box and number 10 with this uh, uh, post office window. But uh, I was told that number nine is a mouse. So what I did was, uh, I imagine that when I'm putting the letter into this uh, post box, then some, something is biting on my fingers. And when I immediately brought down my hand, I was able to see that it was a mouse clicking with my fingers. So what a nasty imagination. But you can Im imagine that uh, I cannot forget that number nine can be mouse. And I can easily uh, firmly associate mouse with a, a post box now. So number 10, uh, you said that uh, number 10 is a, a cell phone or a mobile, uh, but my number 10 was a hook. So you can see that I had to connect mobile with this uh, 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 window. So people who are coming uh, to this uh, window uh, during COVID, uh, they are able to disseminate infection uh, to the person standing inside the window on the other side. So what they are using is they are using cell phones to communicate with the people outside. And they have written down on these instructions that call at this number so that we will speak from inside and we will deliver only the thing that you want through this small hole. And we would not like to have a face-to-face -face negotiation with you through this window to avoid spreading of the droplet infection. So this is how I imagined uh, that mobile can be uh, replaced by uh, 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 this uh, window or can be associated with this uh, post office window. Then number 11 on my mental hook is a footpath. So imagine that this footpath is located on either side of the road. And if you have a helicopter view and you look down from the helicopter, then you will be able to read the number 11. Uh, written in gray or white on the uh, on the earth and uh, you see that number 11 you uh, you are able to see uh, number 11 as the footpath 
or, or footpath as number 11, as if somebody has written 11, uh, because this runs along both sides of the road. But uh, Dr. Huma said that uh, number 11 is a girl. So I had to imagine a gypsy girl or a girl begging on the road. And, and uh, because uh, she, uh, there was a high, heavy traffic going on the road, so sometimes she uh, sits on one side uh, of the road on one footpath, and at other times she sits on the other side of the road on the other footpath in order to beg. And especially in Ramzan, it will be very useful activity for her to gather a lot of money for her Eid. Then at number 12, my hook number 12 was a lift. Uh, why it was a lift? Because uh, um, this lift is uh, fixed or placed at a 12 story building. And if you use uh, stairs, then it will take you 12 minutes. But if you take the lift, then it will take you only 12 seconds. So that is why people are utilizing this lift. But if you are stuck in this lift and the electricity goes out, then maybe you will stay there for 12 hours. So choice is yours. So now regarding this hook, uh, hook or number 12, uh, what could save you if you were stuck in the lift and electricity goes away, or if you are unable to operate the lift, or if you are unable to open the door because obviously you do not have the key. But who has the key? The lift boy. So why not keep the lift boy inside the lift on a stool permanently so that uh, if anything happens wrong, then that lift boy will be able to help you. And thank you, Dr. Huma, for placing boy at number 12, which made my life easy and my job easy. Then coming up to number 13. So far, so good. Everybody's getting me? Yes, yes. yes. Great, great. So number 13 is playground. Why number 13 is playground? Anybody who can imagine why number 13 is a playground in the universal hooks? Only one question person will be picked up by the moderator. Ajit, when the 35th uh, BMA academic webinar. Kazi Saab, Kazi Saab. Or uh, Professor Mulazim Bukhari, who is the uh, principal of Azad Jammu Kashmir Medical College. Uh, he'll be talking about monkeypox, epidemiology, transmission, vaccine, and treatment. So uh, let's uh, start uh, with the recitation of verses. Yes, there, there is some cross communication. Please I'll stop. Ask, uh, please, please control this mic, sir. There is some cross communication not related to this meeting. Now, please select the person, sir, who would like to speak up. Why do you think number 13 can be a playground? Anybody who would like to answer? If not, then I will move yeah, on. Can I? Can I? 13 players in a game. Yes, Dr. Salma Kunde. 13 players in a game. Good. Very good. So usually the yeah. 13, 13th one is usually extra player, isn't it? So very good imagination, Professor Salma. Huma, Huma, Huma. Only uh, one another question. Only one. G, Dr. Huma. Okay, better carry on because. All right, all right. So, so for me, for me, number thirteen was a playground. This is also good imagination shared by Professor Salma, but this is a normal imagination. Uh, now, number thirteen, for, it has nothing funny associated with it, but it is something serious. So, num it, you can tend to uh, uh, forget it. So, again, I am facing some background uh, sounds. Please, can you control? The organizers, can you please control the background sound? If the mic is bubbling like this and the water is going up and down, it can be controlled. It can be controlled. Thank you very much for your cooperation. So number 13 is playground because uh, when we uh, 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 you usually say that uh, 13 is a number that is unlucky for some. Okay. So it is said that 13 is the number unlucky for some. And you know that uh, uh, sports ground is also unlucky for some because some will win and some will lose. So this is how uh, universally it is connected as number 13, hook number 13. 
So now uh, you see that uh, uh, this uh, uh, number 13 in her list, in Dr. Huma's list was culture. So you see that whenever a, a, a Pakistani uh, wins in this uh, um, match that is being played in this playground, uh, or uh, what you observe is they, that they prostrate. When they win, they prostrate. And then they, they always uh, uh, bring their uh, flag, whether it is any nation, any culture, they bring their uh, flag and they, uh, 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 they, they wave their flag uh, in the playground and they run and they exhibit their culture. They come up in their cultural dresses and uh, they start doing whatnot to exhibit their culture that we have won. So basically, uh, the uh, playground has become more uh, an exhibit of the culture than an exhibit of the sports. Like when we are playing uh, against a team that is not very much uh, uh, in favor of our culture, uh, it is then a matter of uh, life and death for people. And, uh, and they, they, they do uh, everything to reveal their culture. And there is a lot of emotion, emotion, cultural emotion also involved this, with this playground. And then more so if a person loses, because then uh, maybe uh, they are not uh, sport, they do not carry enough sportsman spirit and uh, they may start uh, um, uh, attacking on each other. So this is where we see what we see on number 13, the playground. So now number 14, number 14 is a doctor. Usually the villagers say that the person has passed 14 classes and now he has become a doctor. doctor. <clears throat> so they undermine how much education a doctor has to learn after uh, doing his FSC. Like in Pakistan, he has to uh, study another five classes and then the house job and some also specialize. So, but they think the poor villagers uh, who are uh, uh, under um, privileged or who are uh, illiterate, they imagine that 14 classes is something, a target, uh, something huge, and that suffice for a doctor. So I associated uh, 14 with the doctor, but uh, in this list, it was lecture. So uh, uh, a doctor, uh, you know, they have to not only attend the lecture, but they also have to comprehend the lecture because then they will have to deliver the lecture so that the students, they also learn from them and become better doctors. So the doctors cannot cheat. Now, if you look at this particular doctor, uh, how can I convert this serious imagination into a, uh, into a humorous imagination? Now, this is a challenge for all of you. I have my answer. I'll keep it reserved until one of you raised your hand and the person is picked up by Professor Bukhari and then the person will start speaking. Very brief. Yes. Ji, uh, Dr. Rubab, aapko main kehta hon. Ji, Madam, uh, Professor Ji, Bilkis. Doctor. Bilkis, Professor Bilkis. Well, uh, so my question is, uh, what do we need to relate with? The sense of you responsibility have... no, of no, becoming no. a doctor? No no, 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 no. You have to find a funny association between doctor and uh, uh, relating lecture. Relating with what? Dr. Bilkis, we are not seeing you. You are not seeing your You have to relate doctor with lecture in a funny way. Doctor with lecture. Doctor with lecture? Yes. In a funny way. Uh, Professor Bilkis? Uh, or, any, or anybody else? Uh, Professor Bilkis, we are not hearing Dr. Bilkis. Okay, any, any, any other person? Uh, Rachid Saab. Professor Rashid? So anybody who has no mic issue? Salma, Professor Salma Kundi? That is easy. Doctor, doctor is giving delivering a lecture and being oh. hooted out by his students. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So, so perfect. Here, here, here comes, why I'm saying perfect? Because here comes sense of humor. Because it is touching the emotion, touching the limbic system, touching the memory. So this is great. 
um, but what was my imagination was a true imagination when I was at Nishtar Medical College. We used to make the right use of this uh, stethoscope that he's wearing. And during the lecture hall, if the lecture was not uh, very interesting, what we used to do that was that one person will have this uh, headphones on and the other person will have the diaphragm next to his mouth. And this is how we used to communicate uh, in whispers with each other. And we were able to listen to each other and talk to each other without disturbing the class and without the lecturer knowing that who is doing this. So we were, we, are, we were 300 people. So it was very easy for us. So this was, uh, uh, again, an example of sense of humor, use of sense of humor, so that I can remember that number 14 is lecture and not just a doctor. Now we come to number 15. And number 15 is uh, in my uh, hooks, in my list, it is a room. It is? It is a room, room. You can see that number 15 is a room. This is a hostel room. So you can see girls hostel room. Uh, you, and imagine that there are 15 girls who has to uh, stay in one room. And do you think that they are holding the paper and pen in their hand? But do you think that they are able to study in this room? No, absolutely not. Oh, obviously not. So they all have their own things to share with each other. And, and they are just keep disturbing each other. So then uh, it, uh, a rule of this room is made. And this rule is that each girl has to put a pen like this in her mouth <laughs> if she has to stay in this room. So this is the rule of the room. So that they do not talk when it is the study hour. So during the study hour, they have to hold a pen in their mouth. So this is how I associated pen with the room by using a quick, by making a quick use of this uh, imagination, incorporating sense of humor, all right? Okay, now moving on to number 16. And my number 16 is a girl. So in this hook, the number 16 is a girl. And you know that uh, sweet 16 is always associated with a girl. Uh, and uh, it is easy in, as a mental hook uh, to then associate other things with number 16, uh, on number 16 with the girl. So I was uh, given the task to associate pointer with, the, with number 16. So it was easy for me to associate pointer with the girl. So anybody who can associate a pointer with a girl in a funny way? ये तो बहुत अच्छा है मैडम ये ये किसी बॉय से पूछे ये किसी ये मैं किसी बॉय से ही पूछना चाहती थी ये बल्कि मैं राशिद साहब से पूछता हूं राशिद साहब और या गुलाम रसूल प्रोफेसर गुलाम सर्वर पिरकानी फ्रॉम बलूचिस्तान जी जस्ट शो द पिक्चर एंड पॉइंट आउट पॉइंटर विद द पॉइंटर टू द स्टूडेंट्स हां बिल्कुल सर सो अक्सर वो लेजर टॉर्च मारा करते हैं ठीक है तो अगर उनको कोई पसंद आ जाए so a sweet 16 girl, so you, they frequently use laser torch, although laser torch can be very dangerous if it goes direct in the eye. So it's a, it's a bad practice that should not be encouraged, but for the sake of uh, um, uh, imagination, it can be utilized. Great. So then we have uh, these bananas uh, as hook number 17. If you look at these bananas closely, you can easily read number 17 because the left banana is straight, whereas the right one is uh, slightly flexed uh, so that it makes a figure of 17. And uh, it is very easy to associate it with a bag because usually if you carry a bag while traveling full of bananas or at least two bananas. And uh, uh, if, it is a, it, if, if there is some narrow space in your bag and there are other items in the travel bag, uh, it is very, first of all, it is very easy to utilize bananas while traveling because your hands do not go dirty. You do not have to wash them. Uh, they, uh, no matter they are dirty on the outside, they are clean on the inside. So is it, it is easy to eas eat the bananas. You do not have to run for the toilet if you use uh, bananas during traveling. So people frequently use them while traveling. And you always use a traveling bag. And Dr. Huma, she said that uh, uh, number 17 is a bag. So I quickly placed these two bananas in my travel bag. 
it was very easy to me that when I took out banana number one, it was at the top, so it remained undistorted. Whereas when I uh, felt more hungry after more uh, hours of journey, I took out and uh, put my hand deep down into the bag and took out the second banana. It, it became like this, it came out like this because it was turned into number seven. So together, uh, uh, they, they paint a picture of number 17. Is this simple? Yes. Great. So we are coming towards the end. Number 18 on my list is showers. So why on my list is 18 a shower? Because you know that uh, there is a male swimming pool. And uh, uh, before entering into the swimming pool and after uh, coming out of the swimming pool, uh, there is this advice to take a shower. Uh, so when a person is taking a shower, then uh, 17 more people joined him. And because this shower had 18 holes in it, uh, just like 18 holes of golf, this shower also had <clears throat> 18 holes. And under every hole, in order to save water, under every hole, uh, one person is standing, uh, one swimmer is standing who is taking a shower. So you can imagine that uh, 18 holes through which 18 streams of water is coming up, 18 people are taking bath, 18 men under that shower, so that time can be saved and water can be saved. So now this shower, now this, now this shower, please control the background uh, sound. So, so this, this, so this, this shower operates with the help of a charger. So you can imagine that 17 people ha having soap on their face and shampoo on their head and shampoo is also going into their eyes. And suddenly, uh, the charge of this charger, it goes away. And you can imagine that what will they do until it is recharged and the stream of water again starts falling down. And then they will be able to clear the soap from their eyes and from their uh, shampoo from their hair. And then they'll be able to complete their bath. So imagine this situation. This is number 18. And how beautifully the charger sits with shower and shower sits with 18. Now, uh, second last is number 19. Uh, in my list, number 19 is the riding boots. So this is the riding boot. The left one is intact one, whereas the right one is so old, a riding boot, that uh, it, it has a hole uh, at its toe. So when it has a hole at its toe, your big toe, it comes out. It is ruined. So big toe comes out. And uh, if you focus at this number 19 on the top of your screen, what do you see? You see that uh, 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 the figure nine, the figure one is intact, whereas the figure nine has a hole in it, right ahead of it, isn't it? So you can see and imagine and relate this number 19 with riding boots uh, in which the left one is intact, but the right one has a hole in front of it that keeps exhibiting your big toe, okay? Until you change your riding boots and buy new ones or get them repaired. But Dr. Huma said that number 19 has to be a poster. So how could I relate writing riding boots with a poster? So anybody who can name any video, any movie actually, an Indian movie it was, if you have even heard about the title of that movie. And there's also an emoji on cell phones uh, that uh, shows it. Uh, may be able to uh, imagine the same that I imagined about number 19, how I associated poster with number 19. Anybody? Anybody? Or, you, or you might have a different imagination. You are always welcome. Uh, Professor Zameer, would you like to answer? Yes, Professor Zameer, sir. Okay, uh, Professor Koshik Bharati from India. He is the... the uh, Can I answer? Yeah, he is the editor-in-chief of uh, SAP Newsletter. Yeah. Professor Koshik Bharati. Can I? 
Yeah, please answer. speak. Yes, you can answer. Yes, okay. Professor Kaushik Bharti, please go ahead. Yes, Koda Kagas. Kora Kagas. <laughs> okay. How do you relate Kora Kagas Kora with Kaga. how do you relate Kora Kagas with riding boots, Professor Bharti? Uh, please mute everybody. Please mute everybody other than Professor Bharti, who is speaking right now. Yes. Uh, I didn't think of that actually. <laughs> okay. 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 This was this was my question. I, you, yeah. Who is now? I thought of something. Yes, Professor Selma. I thought of a poster of Bata shoes with these riding boots on it. Okay, but a poster of Bata shoes can have uh, can have anything on it other than riding boots as well, like Snickers, isn't it? Yeah, they can. So how, how will you formally associate riding boots with this poster? Uh, the poster will have a horse on it and a saddle on it and somebody riding. And you will be and able to different remember. Boots. Okay, and you will be able to remember it in the long run, then it is fine. If you are able to remember it in the long run, it's perfect. It works for you, right. And there was another person, another lady who just said, can I answer? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I, think, uh, I just googled it was the name of Hatta poster Nikla. So <laughs> yeah, this, this, this was exactly <laughs> in my mind. And poster kaise pata tha? by giving it a kick with the help of a person who was in Dr. Salma's poster, a rider who was having <laughs> who was having these shoes, and the, he just kicked into that poster and he came out. This this shoe came out and his toe also came out of the shoe. And that was the movie Pata Poster Nikla Hero. Right. Perfect. This was uh, also my imagination, Dr. Rehana. We sync. Thank you. So now we have this last item on my list. That is hook number 20. Uh, why this is placed on number 20 on my list? It is uh, a staircase. And I remember uh, that uh, when I was uh, uh, living with my father, uh, as a child and as a young girl before my marriage, uh, 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 we continuously used to change uh, houses uh, or residence due to posting uh, that happens after one year or two years or three years. And whenever we shifted in a new house, uh, I used to, I was in a habit of counting the stairs. So I used to count uh, those stairs. And uh, fascinatingly, uh, always and always it was my observation that there used to be 20 steps in this staircase uh, that was provided to the uh, residential uh, area of uh, to the residences of the army officers so i used to count that there were always 20 so it i was able to firmly associate 20 with stairs but uh, in dr homa's list uh, number 20 was a journal so when i say uh, when she said journal Immediately on number 20, so immediately staircase came into my mind. Now, what I had to do next in split seconds was to connect journal with the staircase instead of connecting journal with number 20. So how did I connect journal with number 20? Again, I would like to listen to some wild imaginations from some of you. Uh, as journal, you journal, Army journal or book journal? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, कोई भी जनरल हो सकता है कोई भी हो सकता है बस यू यू हैव आर्मी जनरल तुम्हें जो सकता है कि आर्मी जनरल के बंगले में ऑलवेज स्टेयर मी मोर देन 20 आर 20 परफेक्ट सर ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल डॉक्टर माशूक वंडरफुल सो एनीबॉडी एल्स विद अ डिफरेंट इमेजिनेशन बाय पब्लिशिंग मोर आर्टिकल्स इन अ जनरल वी कैन गो अप Exactly, Gulam Sarwar Sahib, this was my imagination. Because these days, you see, every college needs to have a journal of its own so that uh, their faculty gets a chance of publication uh, easily once it gets approved. And before it gets approved, they have to uh, pick up people who are able to uh, um, put their publications in their journal. And eventually, eventually, after stepping feet for some period of time, then they will reach the top of this staircase and they can say that, yes, 
our journal is now at this level. And because we climbed all those steps, we climbed all those stages that are to do with uh, uh, uplifting of a journal. So exactly, Professor Gulam Sarwar, this was my imagination too. Great. So this is the end of the show. And now I would, I'm open for any questions. Thank you so much, Professor Samina Malik. And uh, really, it was a beautiful practice. And uh, all of will learn from it. Now, one question I want to ask, usne mujhe uh, raise their hand and i will allow the person who will raise the hand ji dr rubab aapne haath khade kiye the lekin uske baad aapka us question nahi aaya dr rubab assalam alaikum sir sir yeah. mujhe mam se question karna tha ki main names relate nahi kar pati jaise okay. doctors ke liye main yaad karna mushkil ho jata hai mujhe बिल्कुल ठीक है अच्छा डॉक्टर सईदा सेम इज द प्रॉब्लम विद मी अच्छा अब ये के जो है उसको भी हम क्या करें जैसे आपने मैंने आप आई टोल्ड यू दैट माय फादर ही कंडक्टेड अ लेक्चर एंड व्हेन ही कंडक्टेड अ लेक्चर ही बिफोर द ऑनसेट ऑफ द लेक्चर ही प्लेस द लिस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम एंड दिस इज व्हाट आई इमेजिन दैट ही वुड हैव डन आई वाज नॉट बोर्न एट दैट टाइम बट आई कैन इमेजिन दैट ही प्लेस द लिस्ट ऑफ दोस स्टूडेंट्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम and then he placed the mental hooks in front of him and he associated their names with the mental hook like give me any name that you know make nadia. a list, make a list of five people please acha number five num number okay. one nadia okay number one is nadia number two is ashar sorry number two is ashar 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 ashar, ashar. okay number three is mustafa mustafa ओके एंड नंबर फोर इज नंबर फोर इज अली अली एंड नंबर फाइव इज मोहम्मद मोहम्मद ओके नाउ इफ यू नो दीज फाइव नेम्स यू हैव दिस लिस्ट ऑफ फाइव नेम्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू नाउ व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज टू एसोसिएट नादिया विद द क्लॉक ओके सो हाउ विल एनी बॉडी एसोसिएट एंड ट्राई टू हेल्प ईच अदर हाउ विल एनी बॉडी एसोसिएट नादिया विद द क्लॉक what nadia has to do with the clock anybody you have to pick up the name and uh, look at its meaning or look at its uh, syllables and then you have to cook uh, some something from there so that it goes with the clock in a funny way there, there is a nadia cafe in a big hotel chain okay. and it always has a clock there at the entrance okay. so oh, perfect perfect it works for you it's perfect so anybody can cook cook any uh, new hook that works for that person uh, like if no you haven't you do not know about this nadia cafe then what you can do is that the word nadia has a big na in it na dia na 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 so what does the clock say the the clock tells you that uh, no don't waste your time okay so the clock gives you a message of no uh, the time is running all the time all the time we are sleeping at times we are doing this or that we are wasting time but we do not run like this clock we do not perform all the time all the time 24/7 with the clock so this nadia is giving us this no signal this no signal is coming from the clock so clock is at number 1 that is why nadia is at number 1 all right uh, will it work for you now yes yes great. i can imagine great now you can relate now number 2 is asar and asar is a name and asar is also the name of a prayer yes right so so now you have to relate uh, the name asar with the prayer asar all right and uh, you know that uh, the prayer asar uh, it comes at a time when people usually have a tendency to sleep That is why Allah says in Quran, "Kasam hai asar ke waqi ke insan nuksan me hai." That is, I swear upon the time of asar, uh, which is the time uh, in the uh, late uh, 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 afternoon, uh, that uh, a person is in debt uh, if the person does not remember me, right, and does not do the good deeds. So this is what uh, Allah says in His holy book. So if we relate uh, asar with number two. uh what we how can we relate asar or uh, uh, this association with number 2 how can we do that 
you know this is number 2 can you see this these two fingers these two fingers professor salma yes you would like to respond first yes please no no i wasn't responding i was saying you were thinking of the trouser no no so no everybody no 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 no, no. A, a trouser is uh, yeah yeah okay yes please go ahead okay you have you are associating tr uh, trousers with asher okay please go ahead madam sir i don't know whether it was asher or asher i associated a little boy named asher wearing trousers ah uh, no doubt okay you you associated what asher a little boy uh, wearing the named trousers asher. asher wearing trousers okay okay but asher can be wearing anything it can fall down from your mind if you will not develop a quick funny association or association with a feeling uh, with that can touch emotion this is the key this is the key that when we think if we uh, think seriously then that matter will remain uh, short lived in our mind so samina actually aap ye keh rahi hain ki hamari emotions ko hamari yadaas ke sath communicate agar kar dein to hamari yadaas behtar rehti hai perfect perfectly said sir emotions se nahi dikhayenge hamari yadaas wo ho jayegi exactly sir because emotions they are coming from the limbic system and learning is also coming from there and memory is also coming from there right perfectly said sir so we have to think funny this is the practice that we need that we have to ek kuch sawalat hain main dr aruj bhatti dr aruj bhatti apna taaruf bhi kare aur mujhe apna sawal bhi puche dr aruj bhatti assalam alaikum sir uh, sir i am assistant professor at lakhar university of medical and health sciences jamshoro and wow. uh, i have done my phd in physiology and my question is that uh, that is it necessary that what uh, hooks madam told us or uh, we can make our own list with our own ease yes or is it yes professor aruj you are very right uh, that you can make your own hooks that suit you best okay so it is not a must it can be tailor made these hooks can be tailor made that fit you best will be your hook and it will serve you better there are three more participants raising hand thank you dr aruj for joining dr bilkis <laughs> professor bilkis shabir ha ji thank you so much sir sir ye mere liye to this is a personalized sort of a interpretation uh, i remember when uh, uh, covid struck in and we were doing webinars and lectures and teaching sessions I would also start with the uh, surah. Sir, Dr. Kalkis. Ji, sorry. Sir, we have started the work in the COVID. Ah, absolutely, absolutely. The most important thing was the forum. You are the pioneer. And I usually somehow I would always start with surah asr. And then when COVID is correlated with COVID, so 2020. Right. So two. And worse for the two years, 2020 and 2021. So, in right. my mind, my mental. Uh, hook ban raha hai that is related to covid and uh, it you know it would immediately surah asr ke sath somehow okay every time it would ring a bell ye ke wo time tha jab so maybe a uh, little too great so anything uh, you are perfectly right professor bilkis anything that works you works you well will be doable and you will do it likewise to me how i related asr with number 2 uh that is if i related asar with a person wearing a trouser and performing the prayers i'm uh, i can forget it but if, if i uh, if i associate uh, asar with the surah asar uh, that is a surah uh, 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 you, that uh, tells you about uh, uh, success that it, yeah so so tells you about success that if you will stay connected with god then you will be able to get this success and i am raising now my two fingers what is this sign victory. this is the sign of victory. victory victory which is a sign of success so with asar you get victory okay. victory number 2 two fingers so this is how i associated and i placed uh, asar on number 2 right ji professor professor uh, rachit saab I don't think he can hear us. Can hear yeah, I think I think he has some mic issues. Then you can test somebody else. Uh, Professor uh, Mashuk Dasti. Ah, uh, je. Um, Maraya tha ki can we apply the model of ten hooks? 
to in its initial phase to remember or uh, increase the memory uh, yes sir perfectly uh, uh, i have uh, remember i am able to recall 20 hooks so i use 20 hooks and if a person is able to recall and keep just 10 hooks what he can do is that he can again use the same 10 hooks and uh, make another thing sit on the same share one hook can be shared by two objects like you can hang your two shirts on the same hook but if you will try to hang your third shirt as well uh, on the same mm -hmm. hook then it is uh, uh, destined to fall maybe it may not uh, uh, hook so strongly with the hook right it may not hang so strongly with the hook so try to uh, uh, use it uh, for uh, one set of information and then uh, you can uh, let go of that set of information when the time is over when the need is over like i remember that i associated 14 points of kaidyazam uh, i i uh, associated with these hooks so what i did was that uh, i converted uh, those lines into one heading and that one heading was the central meaning so that central meaning should not be skipped uh, from those points uh, now professor rashid is raising his hand yes, uh, yes. Rashid, uh, can you can you listen me now yes we are acha so main madam spina ki bahut achhi presentation se jo cheez relate karna cha raha hu When it is our teaching sister, जब हम students teach करते हैं आप किसी चीज के साथ relate करें students को याद रहेगा जैसे आप physiology आप चूवी मुने बता रहे हैं तो आप उसे हदीस के साथ relate कर दें कि हमारी हदीस में चूवी की क्या पॉडेस है अगर आप उन्हें कोई स्टामिक की कोई physiology teach कर रहे हैं तो आप उसे किसी case scenario के साथ relate कर दें this is what we are doing the medical education are doing तो ये relate करके आप student को बताएं तो उनकी memory भी ज़्यादा अरसे तक उनको याद रहेगा precisely right sir guyton also writes so, that Rashid, this is the basis of positive you memory your emotion with your memory uh, अपनी emotions कुछ भी हो सकती है religious भी हो सकती है आपकी इमोशन किस पे डिपेंड करती है तो विक्ट्री डिपेंड्स व्हेन योर रिलेशन इज विद अल्लाह जी डॉक्टर आमना रिजवी इज एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर ऑफ मेडिसिन एंड आल्सो डॉक्टर जैनब रिजवी इज देयर शी इज आल्सो एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर बोथ सिस्टर्स डॉक्टर आमना रिजवी अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर साहिब मैडम आई डॉक्टर वेलकम आई डॉक्टर आमना रिजवी एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन एंडोक्रिनोलॉजी वर्किंग एट द सर्विसेज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेस लाहौर Uh, madam right. first of all i would like to say it's a wonderful lecture very informative thank you for <laughs> thank you for this lovely lecture madam you know, one so thing much. i wanted to ask um emotions ko memory ke sath relate karke usse strengthen kiya jata hai one thing is uh, what i got it from um, these hooks set it's like jaise hum metaphors bana lete hain kisi cheez ke mm. aur wo usko bilkul wohi association hoti hai aur hame yaad rehta hai but sometimes i have noticed if i'm reading something and i'm trying to memorize uh, important points and i'm trying to relate it or hooks mai usme bana rahi hu to kya hota hai sometimes so it works but sometimes it happens ke hooks yaad reh jate hain aur real cheez jo hai wo mind se skip hoti hai unless i um, you know practice it ya fir main usse ek do baar padhu repetition ho then it will be like mere mind mein wo memorize hogi kya aisa bhi hai ki hum bahut zyada hooks bana ke kahin ऐसा तो नहीं कर देते कि सिर्फ हुक्स ही याद रह जाए और जो ओरिजिनल चीज हम याद करने की कोशिश करते हैं वो हम उसमें कहीं डेफिशिएंसी आ जाती है ओके ओके डॉक्टर आमना आई वुड लाइक टू आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दिस गुड क्वेश्चन आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल योर अटेंशन टू योर अल्फाबेट्स लाइक यू नेवर फॉरगेट योर अल्फाबेट्स इवन व्हेन यू आर स्लीपिंग एंड आई मेक यू गेट अप सडनली एंड आई आस्क यू डॉक्टर आमना प्लीज नरेट योर अल्फाबेट्स you will uh, uh, you will start narrating from a to z isn't it you will never forget it absolutely so, so likewise you need to have some background knowledge for every new knowledge to construct on so this is in accordance with the constructivist theory of learning right so this is this is uh, one thing that we need to have this theory when we we talk about metaphor metaphoric role play is the topic of my masters in medical education thesis at dandi university so there is a it it is based on chivostics flow theory that is just like when actors they perform on the stage on some mechanisms uh, here in metaphoric role play if it comes to the sciences 
basic sciences or any any concepts understanding of any hardcore concepts they become the components of a mechanism like for sodium potassium pump uh, explanation they can become sodium ions and potassium ions and atp and so on so so they behave like this some people jumping on the stage some people getting down the stage and what is the net charge left so things like that so then you when you relate thing when you are able to dramatize your ideas it is only when you deeply understand uh, the ins and outs of a concept then you put it into imagination then you make a story out of it it's not like it starts from a story and then it has a trickle down effect so the director of the story the writer of the story in the metaphoric role play is the person who is the subject specialist who knows deeply that what is happening in this mechanism and then he builds a story on it and i practiced this in at university college of medicine and dentistry university of lahore after getting ethical approval from both the universities uh, university of lahore and dandi and uh, there were significant results that i'm right uh, after couple of days i'm going to present it in uh, long beach at long beach california uh, in american physiology summit and those results are very interesting that how the participants they were able to understand themselves better and understand the co core concepts better and understand each other better there was a, a distortion of their uh, uh, old uh, concepts and uh, this resulted into uh, transformation so it is also in accordance with the transformational learning theory so there are so many learning theories that apply to it and uh, with these hooks uh, you you need to develop your own mental hooks uh, the hooks that will stay in your mind just like the alphabets they never fall off so if you have your strong uh, you have your hooks uh, strongly present in your mind and if your imagination is not a weak imagination but you are in practice of imagination because you know when you reveal even the best lecture to your students that i'm sure that you are a great teacher when you reveal it uh, and then you ask your students after a week what was written in the text they tend to forget but they will remember is the videos you projected especially if they interacted on those videos and what they are going to remember is the pictures that you reveal the animations that you reveal so the brain human brain it uh, imagines and retains the pictures and imagination better and the stories and dramas better than it retains the text that is why if you read from the book there is a tendency that you forget if you watch the movie on that book there is a tendency that this power of imagination is going to cling with your brain and you are able to maintain it in the long run and we can retrieve that information later on Uh, thank you very much professor uh, samina no doubt it was it is a ji uh, professor samina malik we are very thankful to you because uh, it was a very lengthy and practical rabbish rahali sadri yasir li amri wahalu lokta tum meri saniya i always recite this thing when i forget anything and when i start any new thing because uh, uh, learning of the quran is one of the biggest uh, tool to boost up your uh, memory and uh, I hand over today's uh, uh, session to Professor Salma Kundi to conclude this. And if any person have any other question, no question, we are now going to end this one. And thank you, Dr. Amna Rizvi, and all other things. And एक एक और question आया. It is the last question, Aruj. Ah, uh, sir, I just want to share my personal experience. Um, no, uh, मेरे बेटे को मुझे इन्हें thirty second. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I think wind uh, up 15 seconds में. मेरे बेटे को जब भी कोई नॉवेल इंग्लिश का पढ़ने के लिए दिया जाता है उसके एग्जाम कंडक्ट किया जाता है तो मैं उससे कहती हूँ कि आप उसकी मूवी वॉच कर लो वेन एवर ही सॉ द मूवी ऑफ दैट नॉवल ही डजेंट फॉर गेट एनी सिंगल वर्ड तो मैम समीना ने जो आज हमें पढ़ाया वो बहुत ही एक इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक है और इसको बिल्कुल ही प्रूफ थिंग है कि जब हम उसको इमोशनली या उसको वॉच कर लेते हैं या उसको एब्जॉर्ब कर लेते हैं जब चीजों को ड्रामाटाइज करके तो वो भूलते नहीं है So, mashallah, he always good uh, take good marks in English literature because of that. So, I am very happy that Madam has given such a good presentation. And we all have taken this way. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, uh, 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 Doctor Roj. Who I have told you this is a very good way as a Muslim. If uh, uh, to boost up these, these are the practical things that Doctor Samina has as a scientific that Doctor Samina has told us. But the actual thing that how I boost up my memory. and how i ask my children 
and uh, my uh, daughter and only is that they uh, i gave them a one sentence of uh, quran and i asked them to translate in few different other language other than this so actually basically you can boost your memory if you recite the quran and understand the quran and give the quran you are uh, task to your children this will automatically be because everything is in the quran thank you so much uh, sir, because uh, we munir azhar okay munir azhar last question usme aakhri katra aap rehmat ka aakhri katra yeah because uh, i think uh, you are the th person to start this about the memory and uh, i was repeating that uh, you are sentence that if you want to boost your memory you learn more the english more the more the languages and these languages and especially the quran you gave this message in your last uh, lecture doctor last question professor munir is uh, from the bahawalpur head of the department of medicine professor munir uh thank you very much dr mulazam uh, really you have collected many many people who are learned aur agar mujhe mujhe mulazam husain keh de to zyada behtar hai ki main husain ko bol sakta okay okay not only mulazam balki rather mulazam husain atir bukhari <laughs> taking the advantage <laughs> acha okay no 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 my uh, questions uh, uh, are uh, one is that how the blind people they could memorize uh, because uh, there is definitely a problem of making the schema in the brain and there is a matter of graphism by which they can learn uh, see textures and something else but uh, because they they cannot make the mapping and number two question is uh, that you can usually make 20 hooks that's quite good but if you want to make more hooks then definitely there should be some perpetuation or some other trick for that because i have learned many things today i only heard about hook but today the things were so much crystal clear uh, i am really giving good acknowledgement very good acknowledgement to the father of dr samina uh, who provoked and now she is working on it so thank you very much dr samina dr samina ke hawale se ek ek book bhi di hai ek notebook bhi di hai usme unki sari yadashth ke liye bahut sari cheeze when i was uh, with प्रोफेसर समीना ये अक्सर उनकी यादाश्त दिखाया करती थी एंड ये आपसे ज्यादा अच्छी शायर शायरा भी हैं आप थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच वी डू नॉट हैव मोर टाइम टू आस्क द क्वेश्चंस सर सर कैन यू गिव मी अ कपल ऑफ मिनट्स टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू प्रोफेसर मुनीर एंड आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू हिम दैट आई एम आल्सो हिज स्टूडेंट इन द लास्ट वेबिनार एंड नाउ ही जॉइंड एंड इट वाज एन ऑनर सो Uh, regarding the first thing that uh, professor bukhari said about quran that is a mozza uh, i would like to call your attention why you are able to or any 5 year old child is able to memorize this uh, thick book but it is difficult it is difficult to memorize uh, this book alphabetics <laughs> yes gaitan yes, gaitan so why, nice. why gaitan is also a foreign language isn't it but it is difficult to memorize this book word by word but why it is easy to memorize quran word by word and even a 5 year old child is able to do that and a post graduate even cannot uh, remember every word of gaitan so why True. this is so again the mental hook supply here how uh, anything that is already present in your mind only that thing can be easily uh, recalled and can be connected with that thing which is pre previously present if you focus your attention on surah rahman it has three amazing ayats to start with it starts from uh, ar rahman allamul bayan khalaqul insan so there is a beautiful order a secret order that is revealed in surah rahman that is first of all rahman came into being uh, that is the god the creator of all number 2 uh, bayan that is this quran came into being and number 3 insan the human came into being so wh what was the need of creating quran before creating a human because quran had to be revealed on the human later on but what was the need of creating the quran before that one of my gurus my teachers um, a scholar he said that uh, it might be possible uh, it might be possible that quran was created in the form of a chip in the human body imagine yourself as a robot Uh, that is being driven by nature and it has certain power and certain limitations 
So if it is chip of the Quran, imagine if it is already installed in your mind, then only then it is possible for us as scientists to understand and believe that why a five-year-old child is able to, uh, to, to, understand, uh, to uh, memorize this book and why it happens that if a person loses the entire memory, the person is, a, uh, 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 is the one who has once memorized Quran, is a Hafiz, then that person still is able to uh, repeat and recall Quran. This is being observed and it has been observed earlier. Uh, that this Quran, it never goes fall, it, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, fall down from your memory because it is a miracle and this miracle is already there. And what we are doing now is we are just connecting with the uh, native, uh, the original Quran that is already stored in us. A child, when it is, when a child newborn, when he hears Quran, the child immediately uh, uh, keep, gets quiet even if the child is crying especially if the mother used to narrate that Quran when, uh, when she was pregnant and the child hears that and it is in their mind. But then the question was about blind people. The blind people, if one sense is gone, then other senses, they sharpen yeah, up. Hearing, hearing, sense of hearing is yeah, there. Yeah, so their sense of hearing is there. They can listen. They are very good. They are very good Hafiz. Father yeah. Quran, most of yeah. the blind people that are Father Quran. Yeah, I, I have seen a blind man who sits outside the H. Kareem Baksh of uh, DHA Lahore and he recites Quran uh, and he recites it uh, with his heart, with his eyes closed because he is a blind person. So uh, it is not that there is a memory block in the mind of the uh, uh, blind people, rather their other skills are enhanced, other senses are enhanced so yes. this way. And Thank then about have... more, sir, last question was about building more mental hooks. So either you, what you can do is to repeat the mental hooks and try not, not to hang more than two uh, shirts on a uh, ideally on a single hook or you can do is that at least you have these 20 you just practice and you create your more hooks because uh, so far you have uh, you most of you still remember the roll numbers of uh, your class fellows when you were uh, studying medicine and uh, and and those with role, those role numbers come their names yeah so so like like in my class 63 was samia my friend so I've always connect, connected 63 <laughs> <with Samia. laughs> yeah. so, so, so then you can connect new events with those people who used to fall on those roll numbers. So those roll numbers can be a good option to connect with a new Yes, Dr. Sabine, it is up to uh, you. Uh, may I tell you the same conclusion that my wife was the Quran thi, and when I was learning this Kabel, it was 4 or 5 years ago. So alphabetic Quran ke unhone mujhe sikhana shuru kiya. That is why meri memory apni maine bataya. Apni memory due to my mother, she lived almost 95 years. Doctor Munir ko pata hai. Almost mm. char uh, naslon ko Quran padaya aur uske ho bilkul kuch nahi padi thi. Lekin Quran samjhti thi, uski translation samjhti thi, har chiz samjhti thi. Aur ye kehti thi ki apni yadash ko marne ke aakhri dini, ek din pehle usne na Quran ki puri wo hume sunai. I I I hope. That is why I am going to explain that the Quran is the biggest tool to learn you and your uh, stu uh, students and other. I hope this practical knowledge will be will apply all the teachers to our students, inshallah. And Dr. Samina uh, will be touch inshallah with you. Agla Sunday Eid hai aur inshallah mulakat nahi hogi. Usse agle Sunday inshallah mulakat hogi. Dr. Bilkis, aapke kafi arse se humne, Professor Bilkis, aap se humne kuch nahi suna, to we will inshallah next time, ek is Sunday ko chhod ke, Professor uh, Balkis is now in the uh, Gangaram, uh, Fatma Janam Medical University, Apni Mother University. Mein. It is over to you, Professor Salman. Mulajim Sahib, Mulajim Sahib, you have announced it will be a 30th April. Yes, yes, yes. Professor, uh, Professor Balkis will be lecture, hoga, inshallah. Please start it. Uh, sir Ji, thank you so much. Thank you, Professor Mulajim Sahib. And I always look forward to Sunday because I get so many good people to see and listen to me. We have to go to the next day. Haji, what a nice lecture. Yeah, us, the world of the people sitting, not only Thank the doctors, so not only the doctors, and per, not from the Pakistan, all over the world, and pearl of the people's teachers to, are there. That is why these oh, men are going practically to them. 
बिल्कुल जी एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी मेरे पीएमए के दोनों भाई भी मौजूद हैं आज कैसर भाई भी और काजी वासिक साहब भी काजी वासिक साहब इज प्रेजिडेंट समाओ तो ये एक्चुअली आइडिया जो था जो कि मुलाजिम साहब और मैंने शुरू किया वो सिमाओ के वेबिनार को देख के शुरू किया था हाँ, कि हम अपने पाकिस्तान में भी ये सीरीज शुरू कर दें जी एंड शुक्र अलहमदुल्ला सो फार सो गुड इट्स गोइंग वेरी वेल तो आई वॉन्ट टू एड समिंग कुरान शरीफ के बारे में आप बता रहे थे मुझे किसी सेज ने बताया वेरी इंटेलिजेंट वाइज पर्सन कि जब मुझे लगा मुझे डिमेंशिया शुरू हो गया तो मैंने कुरान शरीफ हिफ्स करना शुरू कर दिया it opened so many neuronal circuits in that person's brain that the dementia was gone and that person got about 10 paras he learnt it he memorized it and then he passed away but what a magical thing it is pure magic to memory ke liye sabse pehle to ye hai ki kam se kam aakhri se para 30th to 29th ko hum hifz karna shuru kar dein and you will see kitne dimagi circuits aapke khul jate hain समीना ने हुक्स पे बात की मेरा अपना पढ़ाई में एक सिस्टम था विच आई कॉल्ड मेंटल मैपिंग एक तो जी टिपिकल शॉर्ट हैंड होती है वो नहीं लेकिन मैंने एक अपनी राइटिंग क्रिएट की है शॉर्ट हैंड जब मैं लेक्चर लेती हूँ मैं पूरा लेक्चर नहीं लिखती मैं एक पेज पे उसका नचोड़ नोट कर लेती हूँ दैट इज अटल मैपिंग मैं वो पेज जब खोलती हूँ तो मुझे वो सारा लेक्चर रिवाइज हो जाता है यू गेट इन माई पॉइंट जब तक मुझे थारॉइड का मसला नहीं आया माई मेमोरी वॉज ए वन लेकिन इन शाह मैं जब हिफ शुरू करूंगी मैं ये थारॉइड का भी जो मुझे लफ्सेज आ जाते हैं आई माइट ओवर कम इट तो थैंक यू सो मच प्रोफेसर समीना मालिक Thank you, you so are our pride because an honor. you are our vice president in the South Asian Association of Physiologists, and then you are a part of Pakistan Physiological Society. You are the HOD in University of Lahore, and you are such a nice person. I'm very fond of next, you. Next, 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 i think few of the people from the uh, all over the pakistan in my group uh, one of the professors uh, saima uh, nakvi is also going from ul uh, and inshallah we'll meet again on 30th and uh, uh, allah hafiz allah sabko apne hikmat rakhe thank you all so much thank you so much thank you so much everyone see you on 30th inshallah in mashhad thank you so much allah hafiz allah hafiz everyone thank you so much